Hey everyone, so this is my review of Legends of Tomorrow, Season 4, Episode 5, called Takamoto Attack. And essentially what this episode is about is that a new creature is loose in 1951 Tokyo, and the team must work together to track down what this creature is and how to stop it. And while that's going on, Constantine struggles to recover from the event that happened in the previous episode. And Ava decides to join Nate at his family's Thanksgiving. And this was a really interesting episode that definitely had a lot of really good moments to it. And just the whole sort of underlying storyline in this episode was really interesting around the ideas of creativity and how to deal with pain and trauma and stuff. And with that, everything with the whole idea around the creation of Tagmoto was interesting and I definitely love how they chose to sort of fill in and fit that into the eventual creation of Godzilla. And um, how Tagmoto was created by this man who suffered through the atomic bomb attacks and he created this character as sort of his monster of his pain and stuff. And through this book that he gets a hold of, ends up making this creature a reality. And now that the storyline that he created has to play out, and the team has to sort of stop it before it destroys this creature, Takamoto, destroys Tokyo and stuff. And that was just really interesting to see how it all played out and how the team worked to both slow down the creature's attack as well as figure out a way to stop it. And with that, everything with making this episode was really great with uh, Zari continuing to ask him more about his book that he's writing and his creativeness and why he's choosing to keep it a secret and stuff. And his creative nature eventually being the thing that helps the team was really great to see with how it all played out and just everything around that was really, really great. Then everything with Ray in this episode was interesting with him going and tracking down Nora to be able to help to save Constantine and her having to sort of navigate and make that decision of whether or not to use her magic to help him and what consequences might sort of come out of that was really great and I especially loved it with Constantine finally stepping in there at one point and sort of announcing that to her where he brings up that to use this magic and stuff, it needs to be her choice 100%, otherwise she might learn to regret it in the future. And just hearing that from Constantine was really interesting and I really kind of enjoyed it. And then everything with Nate and Ava was really great with them working to sort of continue to butter up Nate's father to support them. and when things start to go wrong with them, sort of navigating and figuring out a way to sort of hide that from Nate's father it was really interesting to see how it all played out. And I just really enjoyed seeing what they did there with how everyone sort of fit in and helped to fix this problem when a bunch of creatures sort of escape containment. And it was just really fun and interesting and really kind of great to see how all those different sort of characters fit into fixing that problem. And then just overall this was a really entertaining and a great episode that had so many really fun moments to it and it was just really really fun to watch and see how everything played out. And so yeah, that's my review of Legend Tomorrow Season 4 Episode 5 called Tagamoto Attack. So.